Shalom, uh, beautiful family, beautiful people, body of Christ, brothers, sisters, family, friends, enemies, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm coming, and this is more so a, um, a caution video, a warning to take uh, to take precautions and make preparation. Um, Father put this on my heart to do yesterday, and. I was trying to figure out how he wanted me to do it for right now um today he's having me come on here and do a video so i'm gonna do that video and i just give him all the glory and before i get started heavenly father with the key of david and by the sound of my voice i speak heavenly father every revelation of truth that you have given uh, many of us in the body of Christ, I covered this recording myself, my brothers and sisters, and anybody coming to this video in Holy Ashaya's blood, and I place the cloak of invisibility over our minds, body, spirit, heart. May you be glorified in all things. Amen. So, y'all, um, what I'm coming on to share is about the solar eclipse. Now, I know everybody's been hearing and seeing all the information, but I'm, I'm going to share with y'all what Father has laid on my heart to share with his people. And, you know, once I put this out there, it's neither here nor there with how people decide to react to what I'm sharing. Um, pretty much the same, but not not, you know, it, it is it is me doing my duty as a watchman. Um and Ezekiel 33, you know, if the watchman see the sword coming and you don't prepare the people, you don't warn them, then if they die in their sin or if something happens, basically when this, whatever the revelation is, if it comes up on the people and the watchman hasn't given their announcement, um, you know, they haven't done their due diligence to warn the people, then the blood of those people will be on that person's hands. I don't want that on my plate because I've been knowing about just the, the deep revelations of these solar eclipse and things about it for a while, but Father was really laying it on me yesterday. And on the other side of that, if you do warn the people and they, you know, if they still don't listen, you've done your job. If people, you know, something happened and I'm not saying anything about somebody dying but in the scripture it says that the people die in their sin and you've done what you're supposed to do then you're clear you have saved yourself and so that's what i'm coming to do i'm coming to save myself because whether something um happens precisely the way it's being told you know revealed to us a lot of stuff happens symbolically and some some things happen in the spirit realm that we can't even see so that's what father's having me come on to share today because um with this solar eclipse so anytime that there is a um anytime that there's a solar eclipse or an eclipse phase it usually happens around the time of a new moon and y'all this one is really important because passover is coming up april 22nd at sunset is passover this particular eclipse, Father is wanting me to highlight for people to pay attention in the spirit, okay? Because, yes, we've had solar eclipses before, and they do make announcements, but not like this. It's been so much so that I have been, I'm, and, and the thing is, whether people believe it or not, I have not even really been digging off into it. What Father has given me, you know, to bring light to my eyes about it he been bringing it to my phone like i've been getting notification after notification after notification just from google news and i didn't even sign up for google news i didn't subscribe to that it just started coming to my phone so i know how the lord is you know trying to get our attention but if you look around never and, and, and if so somebody come tell me so i can go see it you know and correct myself but uh, they have never to to my knowledge They've never um, postponed school dates or sent out forms for parents to give permission or not for their children to view the solar eclipse or either are they staying home that day, okay? Father is pointing out also how specific people, specific, you know, people that are high up in corporate America with these banks are telling people to move their money from their accounts because if if any of you are following prophecy what's happening right now is we are in a time where the economy is about to be reset okay um the american dollar is is 
definitely going to lose its value. The system is going to crash and it's going to be reset. Father has already told his people, you know, tried to get people to understand about the wealth transfer with, um, you know, with Sheba Inu. I'm being obedient because Father has shown me dreams about this. So I, no matter what the circumstance, I have to be able to speak about this, okay? So I'm telling y'all this in obedience. I've had dreams that Sheba Inu is from Father Ahaya. So he has said that his people should invest and he will make the provisions for that, okay? Um, there's others like um, XRP and um, so the Terra Luna Classic. These are these are the ones that Father has given understanding for his people, the you know, his people for the hit the literal wealth transfer for the building of the kingdom. Because even though we see in doom and gloom, Father Ahaya is not gonna let his children fall into poverty. If you are in covenant and alignment with him, if you walking in obedience, and when I say walking in obedience, that means taking heed to the preparation warnings. And that's what he's having me come on to share today, okay? Um being knowledgeable about the the wealth transfer and the economy crashing that's part of the preparation okay i'm sharing that because not maybe not everybody can invest you know i understand that the father's going to provide for everybody okay he's going to provide for everybody the way he needs to you need to have faith and believe so i'm speaking this in obedience okay not only about the wealth transfer i didn't plan to even extend on that like that but father brought that to my to my mouth so i did so another thing that father is having me share um in preparation is for people to make sure even if you don't think that something is happening it's better for you to be ready than for you to get caught and unprepared if you got extra gas cans fill them up Make sure your cars are filled up. Make sure if you're able to, however Father provides for you, that you have the necessary, you know, um, provision in your household for food, groceries, water, bottled water. Because there's been so many prophecies and revelations that Father has revealed about the gas being shut off, about them contaminating the water. Of course, I just said them shutting down the bank systems people not gonna be able to get their money out make sure you got your whatever i i would i'm just suggesting i'm trying to tell y'all because i know there's a lot of skeptics out there say you know that people have said this before it hasn't happened you have to be prepared at all times because these are serious times i'm getting to the meat of this message but it is wise to move your money out of these banks because if the banks go down the systems crash the atms go down you're not going to be able to get your money out you're not going to be able to get your money out. You won't have access to it and you won't get it back. So it's wise to prepare. Move your money out of these banks. Okay. The next thing that Father's having me touch on concerning the solar eclipse is how he has given us signs in the Maserat, which is the constellations, the heavens, through the sun and the moon, the stars. The alignment of the planets during this solar eclipse is super important. Okay. Not only that, but during this solar eclipse, this particular one, um, the one from October, November, this, this last one that we just had, and then this one here in April, it makes an X, okay? People have been talking about this on the internet, but I'm telling y'all from my point of view, not, not mine, but from the perspective that Father has given me revelation from. That's what I mean. It's not my point of view at all, okay? It may, you, can, you can look Google it. And, or YouTube it, okay? It makes an X and it represents the sign of the 11th Tav. The beginning or the end is the beginning. If you look up Tav in the Hebrew audio, it means that the Tav is the end, but it is also the beginning, okay? Alpha and Omega, it's a huge sign. That's what Tav means, a mark, a sign, y'all. And it's talking about... There's so many things, y'all. Talking about the oxen, okay? That's what the Aleph is. And Father is the head. But also, during this time, there's a lot of good and evil happening. And due to that, with this eclipse, because of Passover coming, we already know that is a huge holy day or holy week 
for Father Ahia's um, Holy Feast Days. One of the most important is Passover, okay? But on the other side of that, over in Israel, the um, sacrificing of the red heifers, that is a huge sign of something coming. And this X across the United States and the, the cities that are in the path of totality, most of them are called Nineveh. And I think there's even one called Jonah. And there's another one called Rapture. I'm not saying nothing about the Rapture. Okay. I'm trying to tell y'all this so nobody take this part in the wrong context. We've been given a lot of misconception about the Rapture. Because Matthew 24 tells us that we will see some tribulation. Not the great tribulation. Because fathers, the ones that he's going to take away, the appointed ones to leave here before the great tribulation, they are not appointed to wrath. But Matthew 24 lays out the sequence of events to let us know what will happen and what we will be here to see. The saints will see disturbances. They will see tribulation. They will see some hard times. They will see some things take place. But Father has said that he will keep us. When these signs start coming, look up because your redemption draws not. So we have to understand that it's not going to be just, you know, he's not just going to be snatching people up out of here to miss this. Something We're going to see some stuff. So you need to be prepared in mind, body, spirit, and heart, most of all in your relationship with Christ. That's the most important thing that's going to found you through all of this, okay? It's going to ground you and give you a foundation. Your relationship with Christ, I'm not talking about religion. When I say religion, I'm not talking about religious traditional things. I'm talking about you having a personal relationship and being able to hear from him. And here's why. Because along with the solar eclipse, there's always a balance of things. With the evil, there is good. Father Ahia is doing things within his people. He's aligning things within his people. And I, I've shared here recently about the human solar system inside. Yes, the constellations are giving us... Um, the Maserath is giving us signs in the heavens, but it's also talking about things that he's doing inside of us. He's preparing his people, okay, for to, to receive great glory, great power. On the other side of that, you got CERN and them opening up portals, you know, planning to, to open up portals during this solar eclipse time. You got NASA wanting to shoot rockets, three missiles into, you know, behind the moon. Y'all, all of this is very significant and we need to be paying attention so we can understand that there is good and evil happening from this thing. And, and we are in a time where you have to understand that these particles, I mean, not these particles, the, the, um, these portals that CERN is trying to open up, they are trying to these portals are going to allow things to come through, okay? Whether you understand that or not, please do your research because I can't, I'm not going all off into it because people have talked about this and I know I've shared some things on my podium before, but they are doing things trying to, you, you can't imitate God. That's all I'm going to say. Father is the one who does the opening up of anything. So what they're allowing to come through or releasing into our atmosphere, y'all, pay attention. Father has given many people dreams and visions about spirits and demonic entities manifesting themselves. We know that the book of Jonah talks about the three days of darkness. Many of us have had dreams and proclaimed them about the days of darkness about being prepared for those days because if they let me backtrack along with the solar eclipse I'm not saying that I know for sure this is going to happen what I'm saying is father has given many people many of us here recently dreams visions signs of the things that are going to transpire we don't know exactly what date is going to take place but this specific Solar eclipse is a huge sign for Father Ahia. He has said that in his words, that these are signs from him. So we need to be ready for anything, okay? Because eventually the grid is going to be shut down. That means, like I said, with the banking system, but no communication by phone. Your internet going to be down, okay? If you don't have generators and things like that, if you are able to, please get generators or get with somebody that got some extra supplies or do you know congregate 
<laughs> be in a place where you're going to have the necessary provision because you never know what's going to happen. There's some there's some very unusual and uncommon things happening right now with with all the announcements of this solar eclipse. There are businesses shutting down. OK, and with the days of darkness. Father has told us and I proclaimed it on my channel because I've had a dream about it. There will be entities that manifest, okay? There will be dark demonic entities that from the spirit realm that manifest in the physical. We will see these things. But those who are walking in obedience and covenant, those who will be endowed in the glory of a higher, he's, he's not going to leave us here powerless. He has made it very clear from the scripture that he's going to endow his people with power. And those who believe shall come with the signs of of casting out devils speaking in new tongues and taking up serpents if they drink any deadly thing it shall not harm them okay these are the signs of those who believe you have to understand your you given authority now when we talk about jonah and the three days of darkness this is a time of repentance as well because with this with the with passover coming follows the 40 days of repentance up to pentecost this is a time of repentance. It don't matter what your status is, what your title is. We all need to be in repentance on our knees before the Father, humbling ourselves for anything, you know, anything that we've done or whatever the Holy Spirit brings to our understanding and reflection so that we can make sure that our heart posture is right before Father because that's what he's checking in this hour. And with those, speaking of Jonah and these cities, Nineveh and Jonah and Rapture, when it talks about the three days, okay, it could be literal, it could be three weeks, it could be three months, it could be three years. We don't know. The, the, the things are symbolic and parable. Father Haya is telling us to be prepared. You don't want to be without, okay? You don't know how long things are going to take place. There's a whole reset coming. The elites, the powers, the governments that be, the spiritual wickedness in high places, they know what is, they've been, you know, they're probably twiddling their thumbs, <laughs> waiting for the day. So, you know, because they already got a playbook, okay? they just rolling it out. What I'm here to do is give the warning and encourage my brothers and sisters, family, friends, loved ones, enemies, frenemies, whatever you are here in this video. With the love of Christ, put on the forearm of God. Get your heart right. Be in covenant. Be ready. Forgive people. Forgive yourself. Make peace with those who you don't have peace with in your heart. Because you never know what is going to transpire. And you want to be in a place to receive the glory of it. Yah. And not, and not be on the other side of that. Where you make yourself vulnerable to these spirits. And some he's bringing to my remembrance right now. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to make sure I remember everything that he wanted me to point out in this video. During the days of darkness, Father has had us proclaim in, in preparation to cover your windows and things like that. So if anything happens where there is complete darkness, okay, we know the, so, the total, total solar eclipse will bring darkness in the path of totality. And they even talk about now that the path of totality has widened. Never heard of that before. Y'all take note. Because they've given us signs right before our face. We need to be aware. Don't be afraid because Father says he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. The only way you cannot be afraid is if your heart is rooted in a higher, if your foundation and everything you do is rooted in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshia HaMashiach, Father Ahia, and the Holy Spirit. That is where your power, your strength, and your courage and confidence comes from in all things. It don't matter what is happening in this world. He's doing marvelous, miraculous, majestic things in his people. Be in covenant. Be in alignment. But during those days where there is darkness, Father has been giving us understanding and dreams and visions and messages we won't be able to go outside during those times, okay? We're going to have to know how to take care of things inside. Your pets, you're going to have to be able to take care of your pets and all kinds of things. You're not going to be, because it's going to be entities and things going on that we've never seen before. And if people have allowed themselves to be a portal for the enemy, they are a host body for wicked spirits. I'm just telling you. 
Okay, I'm just being honest. I'm telling you, I don't care how crazy it sounds, how far-fetched or over-the-top it sounds. With great love from Christ Yeshua, please hear and, and read his word. But do your own research and take the prayer to Father Hyatt so he can really give you a revelation about what, what times we're in, y'all. We in some very critical times. This whole month of April is banging, okay? Banging like never before. So that's really what I needed to share for the most part. I'm sorry if it seemed like this is all over the place. I really am trying to do this while I'm out running errands, but I needed to come on here and be obedient. If you feel led to share this video, please share it. And I just, Heavenly Father, with the key of David, by the sound of my voice, I speak. And I give you all the praise, honor, and glory. I pray over your people. I pray over my brothers and sisters. No matter what, no matter what, Heavenly Father, I ask that you heal hearts, that you bring to the mind, Heavenly Father, things that need to be taken care of within so that you can heal people, that you can deliver them and set them free, that we can be prepared spiritually, spiritually mentally, physically, emotionally, emotionally and materially father with the provision that you give us you supply all i need i pray that you make provisions for those who really don't have i ask that you remove fear from the hearts of people who may hear these messages and feel fear in their heart for you have not given us a spirit of fear you said heavenly father that you go before us and you are our river so you're going to take care of us if we trust in you and i pray Heavenly Father, that thy will be done. Heavenly Father, as your kingdom is being established on earth. This is my prayer. In holy shine's name I pray. Amen. Y'all be blessed. This is it. Shalom until next time.